Hello, everybody. Well, have you tried out the new uh, Facebook timeline yet? I think it's supposed to be uh, introduced on October the 6th, but you can get it now. Uh, there's a link that you can go and um, download it. When they were first talking about it, when it was on CNN and they were first talking about it, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because everybody knows the changes that's already been made to Facebook. And to me, they're more complicated than the timeline page is. Uh, I still haven't really got used to the changes, but the timeline I love. I went to the link actually the other day and I took one look at it and uh, I said, I can't do this on my own. So I went back to the old Facebook. And then uh, my daughter was talking about how she had set hers up and it that she was enjoying it. She loved it. I know uh, my younger brother set his up and he liked it too. And so uh, I told my daughter this morning, I said, I, I, I tried to find it, but I can't find it again to set it up. So she went into uh, my Facebook and actually set it for me, but I went in and did all the work on my page as far as uploading my background pictures and all that. And that's what I love about it. Uh, I've got mine set up with a, about a third of the top of the screen is got room to put a picture. Well, and it goes all the way across. I put a picture of my kids up there. And uh, then your profile picture is kind of overlapping that picture. And I like that because you, you can change that uh, timeline picture anytime you want to. You can uh, put, uh, let's say, for example, Halloween's coming up. You can put Halloween pictures up there. Uh, Halloween scenery for the fall, you can put fall leaves or whatever. It's really going to be fun at Christmas time to kind of decorate, you know, change your page up a little bit. And that's, I think it's my favorite thing about it. And I also love where you can listen to music. Uh, I love listening to music, but I like to listen to what I like to listen to. And this gives you that option too. But, and another thing that I like about it is you can go all the way back to when you were born. Uh, for example, um, there, over on the right hand side there's dates and years and you can just scroll down to whatever year you want and then go in there and set a date and uh, talk about something that happened on that particular day. I put in a baby picture of me on October 22nd, 1958 and said so this was the day I was born. It will also, when you scroll up, have uh, all the birthdays of, of uh, your family members, you know. Uh, I've got in there a picture of my husband and the day that he died, the day we got married. Well, he didn't die the day we got married, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> that's not even funny. And then I have uh, my mom when she died. And just, you know, just little memories and stuff like that that, that you can put in there. And uh, whatever date you start work, just just anything you want to put in there, you can put in there. And then whoever comes to see your page can go through your timeline. And you know it's 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 really going to be a lot of fun. But it's basically a lot of fun for for yourself, you know, because uh, it is kind of fun to to go back and to see what else has been going on. And actually, another thing that I like is you can go to a certain year in here. And uh, say so like, I went back to, uh, well, however long you've been on Facebook, just pick a year and go back, and it'll show you, uh, you know, the activity on your page during that time. So, and the posts that you made then, and the pictures you uploaded, uh, uploaded, and anything that you want to see is in that timeline, and it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun, and I just saw a fly. I'm gonna have to, I cannot stand a fly. I'll get out of my bed in the middle of the night if I think there's a fly in my house, and I will hunt it down, and I will kill it. I killed one earlier today. There that thing is flying right around that light right there. And I've got this uh, black flag I've been carrying around with me today. Somebody had given me this. I don't remember who it was. Oh, Aunt Trent gave it to me because I had uh, some ants around my kitchen sink. So 
so she had given me that. But anyway, anyway, try out the new Facebook timeline, and you're just going to love it. Uh, the posts, uh, now that Facebook has changed, another thing I like about it is the pictures. You know, if somebody uploads a picture or whatever, or a little cartoon, it used to come in the little teeny tiny box, but now it's just like, a regular size and you don't have to squint and you don't have to click on it to make it big unless you want to and I like that too but anyway uh, I've, I've been playing with it all day I really have and I'm getting ready to go play with it a little bit more um, I'm also watching the uh, Dr. Conrad Murray's trial on TV I watch it off and on I, I'm not really watching it a whole lot uh, because it's really at this point is nothing that you've not heard before. Uh, I want to do a video tomorrow about Susan Powell. For those of you who do not remember Susan Powell, she was the woman, the young mother of two boys who went missing last winter, I think it was, when her husband proclaimed he took his two little boys on a camping trip to make s'mores at midnight, and then when he came home she was gone. And that case is, is heating up now, and it, it's, it's getting real interesting. Uh, you know, her husband was never charged with her disappearance. We all know that she's more than likely deceased, but uh, her husband has never been charged. However, they have arrested her father-in-law. Yes, her father-in-law. That's going to make for an interesting video. I'm going to compile all my notes here, and I'm going to do that video in the morning, so you should see that tomorrow. And until next time. Oh, another thing about the timeline, in case you want to go and look at somebody's timeline page to see what it's like, you're not going to be able to see it. You cannot see it unless you have the timeline page set up yourself. And if you don't have it now, I think it's, you will have it on October the 6th because I think that's when it's going to be automatic. So uh, you may as well go ahead and get it now. You can play with your page and set it up the way you want to now, but in, uh, your home page where all your comments come through is still going to be like it is now, so you don't have to worry about getting lost anywhere. So it is a lot of fun. Anyway, until next time. Bye-bye.